When I begin a photo restore, I usually focus on areas that are low in detail that might have large bits of damage to them, like up here with these scratches, or even in the blank area on this baby's cheek. The tool I like to use the most for that is the patch tool, which is under the healing tools. And this works very much like a lasso, where you can select the damage area by clicking and dragging a selection around it. And when you let go, that's exactly what it is as a selection. Now as I hover over it, you can see that my cursor has acquired a black arrow pointing off to the right. If you click and drag, you can actually drag this anywhere, and you'll notice that the new area that's inside of the selection I'm dragging is previewing over here. What I want to look for is an area with detail that is similar to the one that I'm moving. Because as soon as I let go, it will automatically copy all of that detail into this new, into this, uh, the original selection. And then it will color balance, and if I deselect, Command D, you can see that it's even blended the layers, or the areas, here around the edge. So if I zoom in, that did an excellent job of cleaning up. So I have my current healing tool by grabbing J, so that's my patch, and I can click and then drag. Usually with this tool, it's a good idea to stay pretty close to wherever that original one was, just it gives your computer less to do. And what I'll do is create a clean area for things like this textured background. And once I have this one area all cleaned up and all the little lines out of it that I want to take care of, um, then when I work on something like this, I can make a slightly larger selection and drag it over to my newly cleaned up area. Now I can get this to deselect by a couple of ways. So I've clicked and dragged over to a new area. You can use the Command D or Control D to deselect, or you can just click once outside of that and it will take care of it. This tool is great for large areas. It's not great for highly detailed areas. So for example, if I were to come in here to the baby's eye and select this area and drag it perhaps over here, and then deselect, what I get is a big blurry mess. And that will happen anytime I'm in a highly detailed area, or if I'm where a dark area meets a light area. So I'm going to back up. Now, if you don't already know this, holding down Option and Command and hitting Z will back you up a couple steps. You just hold down Option and Command and hit Z multiple times. Now that is the same thing as opening your history panel and clicking up through the steps. So Command Z will take you back one and it's an undo redo option. Command Option Z steps back. Once you've tried the patch tool a couple times, I think it'll become quickly one of your favorite tools, especially when you're working on things like skin tone. Now this is a black and white photo, so we don't need to worry so much about color, but you'll see if I select even this big area on the baby's cheek and drag it down, it just does a really good job of trying to figure out where that is. So my process is going through the photo and taking care of areas that um, might be low in detail and then just stopping if the damage goes over a dark to white area. Just stop before you get there and wait to come back with another tool because there is a perfect tool for it and I will show you that in a minute. Now there is a slight exception to what I was just telling you, the whole don't do it by a dark thing. If I have something like this with a crack going across this, okay, so I've got this crack going from the blanket over to the head, but I've got blanket and head here and blanket and head down here. So I'm going to select this from both sides and then if I use the right tool, I think I was on my lasso tool, so now I'm back on my patch tool. Select this from both sides. I can move up and move things around so that the lines there are still pretty much lined up and let go. So there's some cases that you can do that fix and it works all right 
if there is high detail. So it's good for things like um, lines or bars, things that you're going to line back up. It's when the detail level changes that it becomes problematic. And honestly, there's another couple of tools that work pretty good for that. I just thought I'd show you in case the patch tool becomes your all-time favorite and you want to use it for more than just little things.